A good morning, all. Post. It's post bag. Right. Let's start with this one. Let's see what's in here. Ah, mini breadboards. Oh, lots of mini breadboards. Yeah, two packs of the multicolored uh, mini breadboards, and quite a few uh, of the loose white ones. I think 10, for 24 in total. So yes, these are 25 tie point, I think they call them, uh, solderless breadboards, obviously solderless. Um, I think they're in uh, five rows of five holes, and there are some numbers on there. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, they've got the numbers one, two, and three on here. Although, I mean, there are five usable uh, columns, I suppose, in this orientation. Um, so I think it's just five uh, five pin strips. Not quite sure why they've numbered these three. Left these not numbered and put these two kind of lines. In fact, um, since I've got ten of these and I do plan to order some more, should we take one apart? Yeah, this one here, the base hasn't been pushed on fully and it does seem to be... Oh, yes, that's come out. Yeah, it's just five strips. Simple as that. Well, I suppose while we're at it, we could take one of these strips out, if I can get my knife in there, yep, and uh, take a look at the funneling, see what um, the quality of these strips appears to be like. Yeah, that's come out. Let's have a closer look at that. Uh, so yeah, the funneling on there looks pretty good. Those are quite wide. You're not going to have any problems with um, component leads hitting the ends of those. Uh, entry points. They're also, they've got uh, little sort of uh, curved openings in there. So yeah, I mean, I reckon that's actually quite a nice quality piece of metal. Um, you are a bit limited in what you can do with these. I'm just kind of pushing them all back in because they don't all appear to have been completely uh, seated right down. Yeah, limited what you can do with these. You can't, for instance, put dual in line uh, chips, I suppose you could if you sat two of these things uh, Which way would it have to be? It would kind of have to be like that and then you'd um, Bridge across that gap. I don't know whether that would actually fit on the baseboard. Oh, let's have a look at the baseboard uh, So this is the baseboard. I mean it looks like Lego, but it's not it's not the same pitch as Lego and these things just have two studs which push between these studs not always a completely convincing fit, um, although actually that feels like it's working quite well. Um, so yes, I'm going to lay all these out on here. Now you can get these baseboards. Um, I've ordered some more, so they'll appear in a, a future post bag. They um, are red. I can only seem to get red ones at the moment. I would have quite liked a white one uh, because I'm sort of thinking of mainly using white proto boards when I'm filming because blacks you know it's going to be difficult to see transistors on a black uh, tie point solderless breadboard right let's reassemble this one that just simply slides up into there oh I think perhaps the reason that wasn't uh, fully pushed home was because some of the metal strips hadn't been fully pushed down so yeah that looks a lot better now so I might as well put these all on here really uh, if for no other reason than storage now, actually, that, those two do fit on the baseboard in such a way that it... Oh, no, I don't think that's three-tenths across there. Oh, let's get my ruler. No, well, fairly obviously, it's not three-tenths because you can see there that that dual inline chip doesn't span what is obviously four-tenths across there. Um, so, no, these are no good for dual inline components <laughs> at all. And, in fact, you can see that the studs on this baseboard... Uh, don't actually line up, even accounting for parallax. No, they don't quite line up with tenths of an inch. These are uh, tenths of an inch on this particular ruler. So no, they've made no effort really to uh, make this, um, the pitch of these studs, anything related to imperial inches. In fact, you can see quite clearly here, um, oh, let's just move that slightly to the right that they are exactly five millimeters apart. Please allow for parallax, which is why these ones look slightly inside of the ruler and these ones look slightly inside of the ruler. That's just parallax. No, this is a five millimeter grid. 
However, for sort of simple transistor circuits, and that's really why I want this, I want this to build circuits um, which I can't build on my electronics set. Let's keep these ones at the top all white. Just doing a bit of art here. Um, anything I can't build on my electronics set, I want to be able to build on uh, these tie point, these 25 tie point uh, breadboards on one of these baseboards. Uh, yeah, sometimes just sometimes they just won't push down onto that baseboard. Uh, you can see that one just won't sit in there. I don't know why it keeps springing out. There's nothing obvious on the back of there and there's nothing on there. Now, sometimes the manufacturing tolerances are such that they just don't fit very well. Hmm. So this item is uh, seven pieces, mini 25 points breadboard solderless prototype tie point for Arduino. Don't really think Arduino's got a lot to do with this. But anyway, you get these seven pieces in these assorted colours. Oh yes, there are the assorted colours. For 99 cents, free shipping. And these came from Alice 110-1983. And uh, the white ones were these mini 25 tie point breadboard solderless prototype test board. Uh, 10 pieces for $2.23. That's interesting because the seven pieces in the pack were only 99 cents. Uh, free shipping also from Alice. 10 pieces for 223, five pieces for 119, and two pieces, just two pieces for 99 cents. There must be a, a better value pack of these somewhere. I obviously didn't get it. And uh, if you just do a general search for 25 tie point, then you'll also find the baseboards. And at the moment, I can only find them in red. Uh, he'll also find bow ties and stuff like that. But you'll get all these little 25 tie point um, breadboards from various different sellers, cable ties, and in amongst this lot are the baseboards, uh, which you can also buy separately. Oh, there's some yellow ones there, look. Okay, next up we have this one. Let's see what's in here. Uh, oh, uh, XT60 connectors, excellent. Uh, something in a box. Oh, it's a car thermometer. Even more excellent. And whatever that is. Ah, yes, that is um, a couple of MOSFETs. They say on them, well, let's take a closer look. Yes, they say on them uh, LB3034. Uh, that's not the complete number, I don't think. I think they're IRF LB3034 and then PBF, which is the uh, lead free version. I think that's what they're called. Now the reason I bought these is because, well, I was just astonished. Things have moved on a bit. When I bought my uh, IRF Z44Ns with their 16 milliohms on resistance, I thought that was low. Then I uh, switched to the IRF um, 3205, I think these are, and they have 8 milliohms on resistance. These ones, 1.4 milliohms. Uh, yes, IRLB. I think IRL, L is for logic level. Um, so this has a very low RDS on at 4.5 volts uh, VGS gate source. And it's typically 1.4 milliohms, maximum of 1.7 milliohms. I mean, we're very close to the 1 milliohm on resistance MOSFET, aren't we? It's uh, pretty astonishing. And the fact that it's logic level as well, of course it's five volt logic level, it's probably nowhere near as good at that as that at 3.3 uh, volts. And uh, these numbers are pretty crazy as well, aren't they? Um, drain current silicon limited. So the silicon inside there limits you to 343 amps. Uh, the package limitation is 195 amps. I'm astonished, I doubt those legs could take 195 amps, but that's what they're saying. That's the package limitation. Um, the tab, of course, is also drain. Well, that'd probably take 195 amps, but um, that's then got to go out through the source. Um, yeah, conventional current would flow drain to source, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I'm astonished that, that, that they say that can take 195 amps. It's pretty amazing. Here, we've got a slight uh, update on that. Continuous drain current, silicon limited, 343 amps. 
uh, at 25 degrees. At 100 degrees, they derate that to 243, and the package limitation is 195 amps. Oh, pulse to drain current, 1,372 amps. Yeah, so just really bonkers, crazy numbers for these things. I mean, the currents are just phenomenal. Um, okay, let's take a look at these on eBay. Right, well, I bought these from uh, CZB672-1960, but um, I'm going to show you this one because uh, that seller doesn't seem to be selling them anymore. So here we have uh, one pieces IRLB 3034PBF, uh, Hexfet Power MOSFET TO220, same price as uh, that I paid, I must have bought two. They're 99 cents each, free shipping, and this seller is Horizon Electronic. Um, the XT60 connectors, I think this is five pairs. Let's get them out. Um, I bought these, um, I think, largely for my electric bike. Here's the cable for my electric bike. It's got this very strange, um, what looks like an IEC, but um, the earth pin is turned around 90 degrees. Still haven't found out what that connector actually is called. And I, came, um, I, I had banana plugs on here because I used to charge this from the Turnergy, which had uh, four millimeter banana sockets on it. I then came up with this arrangement uh, where I used a banana coupler um, to then go to XT60. But I think I'm going to chop the cable there and put an XT60 directly on there because the plan now is to charge the uh, bike battery, which is the eight lithium ion phosphate headway cells. Uh, charge it using one of the ISDT chargers, the T8 actually, which has the very high current, uh, the very high power. Um, so I'll be switching to that. So I wanted to change the way this cable is connected. And of course, um, once I've got an XT60 on these blue and brown wires, now I must remember blue is actually positive on here for some inexplicable reason. Um, I can also, I can make up, of course, um, something like that connected to a couple of bananas to convert the XT60 into bananas if that's what I want to do. Right, okay, well these are the ones I bought. Uh, 10 pieces, 5 pairs, XT60 male, female, connectors, plug for LiPo, ESC, etc. Um, not really ESC, are they? Because that's uh, they have three cables, don't they, I think? Uh, electronic speed controllers. Anyway, you get 10 pieces for $2.04, free shipping, um, now I bought these from CZB672-1960, but they, they're, they're not selling these either. And I just wonder whether this seller is not starting to wind down for Chinese New Year, which is not far away now. I think it's early February, if I remember rightly. Uh, so what I might do is I might find an alternative uh, seller selling this thing at approximately the same price when I put this as a link in the description below the video. And uh, finally, this car thermometer, um, I can see a problem with this already because it's not quite like the listing was on eBay. Let's open this thing up and uh, take a quick look. Uh, there it is. It's got, um, oh, it's got uh, a liquid crystal display, which is uh, reasonably transparent. A rather disgustingly ugly lump there, where I presume the electronics are. A battery compartment. Oh, of course, there'll be no battery in here, will there? I should have a battery for uh, this sort of thing. No, they don't ship these things with batteries anymore. And a big sticker so that you can stick it onto uh, your glass window and therefore light can come through and illuminate the display. But um, yeah, there's a problem with this. Take a look at the one on eBay. So here it is. Uh, it's the Mini Indoor Awesome LCD Awesome LCD Display Digital Display Room Temperature Meter Thermometer. Um, crazy price, one dollar fifty-three cents. Free shipping. Uh, also CZB six seven two nineteen sixty. But look at this. It says thirty point three degrees Celsius. Mine doesn't. Yeah, disappointingly, they've sent me the twenty-five degrees Celsius model. Um, which is not what I want because I don't like the cold. And although that's you know reasonably warm, it's not as warm as I would have liked. I wanted the 33, de no, the 30.3 degree model. I'm disappointed. I'll put a battery in. Right, let's peel this uh, sort of LC. Oh, that goes underneath there. That's irritating. 
Uh, oh no. They've really let me down. They've sent me the 23.3 degrees Celsius model. Now I'm really cross. Actually, in all seriousness, um, I quite like this one compared to the one on the box because they've obviously changed the layout slightly. Oh, that's a bit alarming. Um, I don't like this uh, two large digits and one small digit or the decimal place digit underneath the degree C. That's actually, yeah, that's a much nicer layout. I quite like that. So uh, in that respect, I'm quite pleased at my purchase. Oh, that's alarming. The temperature's dropping alarmingly. And so these are today's post bag items. Yes, that's a bit more like it. Um, thanks, a huge thanks once again to our Patreon supporters. Uh, you are the good guys. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter of my channel, then click this link here. Another couple of videos up here if you'd like to watch more of my stuff. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you're not already, then click this link here. Cheerio.